Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a virtual machine on Hyper-V. Hyper-V is a feature from Windows that lets you virtualize your hardware to create multiple virtual machines. Now, Hyper-V feature only comes in Windows professional operating systems. So if you have a home version, unfortunately, you cannot use Hyper-V. In front of you is a Windows 11 professional computer. And first of all, I'm going to show you how to add the feature for the first time, if this is your first time of enabling Hyper-V on your computer. And then I'm going to run Hyper-V and show you quickly how to create a basic virtual machine. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how it is done. On your search bar where the magnifying glass is, click and type the word add features. As you start typing, you will see the best match, turn Windows features on or off. Click on that. It will show you what features and services are already enabled on your computer. Look for Hyper-V. As you can see on my computer, it is already enabled. Tick, the, tick this checkbox if it is unticked on your computer. So we need to make sure that it is ticked. It will tick it and it will download and install the necessary software files that are required for this feature. Once this is done, it will prompt you to restart the computer. Restart the computer and log back in. Windows Hyper-V will be ready to go. So I'm going to click OK and cancel out of this. And in the search bar, I'm going to type Hyper-V. As I start typing Hyper-V, I can see Hyper-V Manager has popped up here under best matches. So this is what we need to open. So click on it to open. And in here, it will show you a computer name as the host machine, which is your device name. And now we are going to go ahead and create a new virtual machine. What you can do is right click on your device name, new, click virtual machine. This will open up this wizard. So click next. Give your virtual machine a name. I'm going to call it VM1. And if you want to store your virtual machine hard disk file on a different location, you can do that by clicking this checkbox and going into the browser and browsing the location that you want this VM to be stored. Um, in this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it at the default location click next. Now in here, you will be prompted to select the generation. Um, generation one supports 32 and 64 bit guest operating system. So depending on your requirement, you may need to run 32 bit. Most of the, in fact, all of the operating systems on Windows nowadays come on 64 bit. So um, if you know for a fact that you're not going to need 32 bit, you can select generation two. But I'm just going to leave it as Generation 1, it doesn't really matter too much. So go next. This is the default memory allocation that the program allocates to the virtual machine. By default, you can change it depending on your resources availability. But I'm just going to leave it as 4 gigs for now. Go next. Now this is the network connectivity, the networking portion of the setup. So under connection, it's not connected, which means it doesn't have connection to internet or any, any network for that matter. So click on this drop down and select default switch. Now you can do pretty clever and complicated things using switches in Hyper-V. I will do another video on how to create your custom switches and manage switches on Hyper-V at a later stage. If you've got any questions, put a comment below. So click next, and in here, it'll give you um, the option to create a new virtual hard disk. Since this is a brand new virtual machine, I'm just going to create a new virtual hard disk, and I'm going to leave the default settings as it is. But if you like to change it, you can do that here. Um, if you have an existing virtual hard disk in VHD or VHDX format, you can click on this option and browse 
to the location and attach the existing virtual hard disk as well. So, but in this case, I'm just going to create a new virtual hard disk. Go next. Now, if you want to simply create the machine now and install um, the operating system at a later stage, you can do that by leaving this option as it is, install an operating system later. But if you have the ISO file downloaded to your computer, you can simply select the second option, install an operating system from a bootable CD slash DVD ROM and select image file ISO, browse to the location, select the ISO file, click next, and this will give you a summary of your virtual machine and click finish. So this process will take a few seconds and as you can see the virtual machine has been created and it's currently turned off. What you can do is right click on the virtual machine and click start. This will start the virtual machine and then you will see in here the status of the virtual machine. What you can do is just double click on it and it will connect to the virtual machine and in here you will be prompted to go through the installation of Windows based on the ISO that you select. And once you've successfully installed Windows, you'll be able to turn on this virtual machine from Hyper-V and install any software that you may need to test and do whatever that you need to do on the virtual machine. And once you have done all your work on the virtual machine, I'm just going to cancel this for now because I'm not going to go through the entire installation process that can take about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm just going to click yes and cancel it and I'm going to just turn off the virtual machine. Um, so it's turned off at the moment and it succeeded. So I'm just going to cancel this window and if you want to Delete the virtual machine once you have done whatever that you had to do. Just right click on it and click delete. And it's going to ask you if you want to really delete all of the virtual machines. Click delete and your virtual machine will be deleted from your system. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. If you did, subscribe to my channel. And if you've got any questions, put it on the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Until next time, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.